Hey friends, welcome to this week's Market Stats for Edmonton and area for the week of April 8th through April 14th. My name is Leanna Martins. I'm your local Edmonton real estate expert. And this is the only place on YouTube that you are going to find the relocation specific stats that is going to tell you new home construction. And I'm going to take you on a tour of surrounding communities outside of Edmonton. So you get an idea of exactly what are the differences in values uh, in all of these areas. So you can actually make an informed decision. If you happen to stick around all the way to the end, my friends, I am going to take you on a new home sold tour. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe below. And if you or your family might be considering a relocation, make sure you reach out to me and my dream team. That is exactly what we do. We take all the fear and overwhelm and uncertainty and we make it easy. So let's start with uh, the local Edmonton resale stats and we will go from there. Let's get into it. So this is the last week that we've had, uh, and this is the Edmonton end area. And this is resale, so it's absolutely everything. It's not going to just be new home construction. So uh, we can see everything is up, my friends. We got our sales up 20%. That is significant from last week. And our new listings now outpacing sales. Ooh. Okay, why does that matter? Because it has been a pretty strong seller's market by about four times it was outpacing last week. But right now, uh, it's twice uh, in terms of new listings, right? So this is the supply and the demand curve. So as new inventory goes on the market, that's going to have an impact on prices uh, and um, days on market as well, how quickly these, these homes are selling because there's more to choose from. Um, so our average price, it's up 2%. Uh, it was 1% last week. So it looks like it's trending up. Let's see what happens in the weeks to come. So let's have a look at the new home sold map next. So this is a map of the 68 new home construction solds in this last seven days. So guys, it's picking up. Last week, I think we we're about 51. So that's, that's enough to notice my friends. So spring market is definitely here. It was picking up about a month ago and then it kind of slowed down a bit, but now it's strong. So anything outside of this ring road is the Anthony Handy. These are all the new communities. And you know, this is Edmonton and area. So take out to Spruce, just only plants in Albert Sherwood Park, uh, Beaumont, Leduc. Um, so let's have a look at uh, the prices overall and see where we're at uh, the days on market and the sold to list price ratio, okay? We know the volume is there. Looking at these sold prices, so out of 68 total, 48, uh, which is two thirds were sold in Edmonton, because uh, you typically are gonna see the greatest volume because the other communities just don't have the population. Now, the average price points up, my friends, it's $560,000. Uh, that is up, if I recall correctly, it's I think it's up about thirty dollars to $40,000 from this time last week. Uh, that just is gonna be reflective of, of the price point of the homes that are selling, but also the sold to list price ratio is up. So that means builders are getting 99% on average of their list price. But again, people like 124, that one's crazy town. That's multiples to be able to go that high. But it starts at 94, for example, meaning that builder got 94 percent of the list price all the way up to 124. So again, it's really important to work with a realtor that's experienced, has relationships uh, and knows where they where they are and wh where the margins are basically. Uh, Leduc, 106% and a 534 uh, average sold price. Spruce, 100% sold to list price. All of these guys, they're ticking up, they're ticking up, 511. Uh, St. Albert, 100%, this is what happens. Isn't that interesting? We have more inventory on the market right now. Sales have picked up, but we've got double the inventory, but this is a different. So the, the previous um, data that I gave you was all, so it was all resale homes. This is specific to new home construction. Uh, and you can see with this new home construction, your sold to list price ratios are all high. 98% is the lowest and that's in Strathcona. So overall out of 68, builders are getting 100% of, of list price. So let's take you on a tour of one of these homes and have a look at what you're getting for that money. All right. All right, friends, I'm taking you on a tour in Leduc and I'm telling you why, because I think that this is a like, well, obviously other people did as well. 
<gasps> this one sold for $80,000 more than list. So I don't know what the heck happened there. Like the value here was nutty. So it was listed in Leduc for $640,000. Oh, it, there's no way. You know what they could have done? This could... Okay, so I'll explain this because that, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. I think that these are upgrades and this may or may not have been done uh, with these new homes. So lots of times when I'm shopping new home construction like this, this won't be the actual home. We get in, it's ready in 90 days, it's ready in four months, whatever it is. And then my clients can still do upgrades. So that means the base package could be 640 and then uh, it ends up being 721. Uh, I've never seen, you know, <clears throat> competition that would drive it up like that. So that's going to be my, my current assumption is, is they added something. Maybe they added the only thing like that's a substantial amount of upgrades. It could have been to finish the basement. So <clears throat> this is an open to below base price finished. Yeah. There's some deficiency walkthrough tape in there. Yeah. So this, this is done. My, my guess is they would have paid to have the basement complete. Uh, I really like what they've done with the tile here. Really, really, really nice. That And that's a luxury spa shower. <clears throat> that's a bath insert. And then this is a walk. It is not a walk out. Interesting built-ins on either side. Doesn't go all the way up. What do you think of that? Open to below. But it's a triple car garage. So that's what my assumption is going to be. I think that they've done a really nice job with the banisters and the wood and the tines with the wood shelving. And they've got a really nice backsplash, you know, some kind of that wood tone cabinetry. So those are my thoughts from a 640. And so that's what you're backing onto. That's why I thought it was a walkout. It's not, but there's, um, it looks like it's private. Basically you're backing on a green space of some kind. So I am going to stick with my guns uh, and I do not think that there was competition that drove it up $80,000. The, the only thing that would, that would amount for that type of price uh, difference would be a finished basement. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, tell me below or comments. Share, share, share. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that really gives you an idea of what's happening right now this last week at Edmonton in the resale market because it is a, it is a little bit different than the uh, new home construction market. So it is still a seller's market, my friends. You can see that prices in new home construction are up. It's 100% of list price right now. Uh, that's on average. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment below and tell me what you want to see more of. Are you wanting to see communities, neighborhoods, schools, um, home tours, tell me, because then I can help you out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe below. And uh, if you and your family might be considering a relocation, reach out to us. Uh, call, text, email, WhatsApp. That's exactly what we are here for. We make the stress and overwhelm go away and make it easy. Uh, so thank you again for watching. I love taking you on uh, these educational journeys with me and I will see you in the next video. Take care.